Uh, is it unanimous? Thank you, sir. In civil case number CL 2019 2911, do you find that Mr. Depp has proven all the elements of defamation? Answer, yes. Do you find that Mr. Depp has proven that Ms. Heard acted with actual malice? Answer, yes. As against Amber Heard, we the jury award compensatory damages in the amount of $10 million. As against Amber Heard, we the jury award punitive damages in the amount of $5 million. Amber and her friends spilled a little wine and roughed the place up. Mr. Waldman, while acting as an agent for Mr. Depp, made or published the statement. Do you find that Ms. Heard has proven all the elements of defamation? Answer, yes. As against John C. Depp II, we, the jury, award compensatory damages in the amount of $2 million. As against John C. Depp II, we, the jury, award punitive damages in the amount of zero dollars. Members of the jury, if this is your verdict, please answer yes. Juror number six. Yes. Juror number 10. Yes. Juror number 15. Yes. Juror number 16. Yes. Juror number 22. Yes. Juror number 27. Yes. Juror number 29. Yes. The jury's verdict is unanimous. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes your service in this case. Court is adjourned. All right. I don't want to be here anymore. Bye, have a beautiful time. Meanwhile. Oh <laughs> We're honored, truly honored, to assist Mr. Depp and ensuring that his case was fairly considered. We are also most pleased that the trial has resonated for so many people in the public who value truth and justice. Thank you all so much, Thank and you. thanks to the jury. Thank you so much. I love you, bro. Elaine, thank you. We're so very glad you're here. Thank you. Uh, we heard Amber's reaction. Major setback for women. Because? Because Amber had an enormous amount of evidence, although a lot of it was suppressed. But they did not believe her. Mm. Why do you think they did not believe her? I think that a lot of that was that it was Johnny Depp. The celebrity status. But she's a celebrity, too. All the evidence came in in the UK. He had his opportunity to tell the truth then. He lost. We weren't allowed to tell the jury that. Well, it's a different system. In this case, the jury not only didn't believe Amber Heard, but in ruling that she acted with actual malice, that means she had the intent to cause harm. The op-ed never even mentioned Mr. Depp. You have to remember that. What they learned from the UK case is to demonize Amber, which is what they did. Not only did we have a group of Depp fans that were there every day, a hundred were allowed in. They lined up at one o'clock in the morning for their wristbands to be in that courtroom. But we had everything on camera and we had tremendous social media that was very, very, very much against Amber. That was the first time that a victim of sexual abuse had to testify on live television. Mm -hmm. And I fought hard and lost that battle. Should not have happened. I am a former NFL player. After a hard loss, it's easy to wake up and point to the other mm -hmm. side. Oftentimes, mm -hmm. I realized the better thing to do was to look in the mirror. What mistakes did I make? Do you feel like Amber made a mistake while she was on the stand? Because you're saying it's the celebrity, it's Johnny, it's the, it's the people who support him. But what about you and your team? That's an excellent question. And to say, and you know, Amber even said on the stand, I am not perfect. I am a human being. Are any of us perfect? No. Is there something else we feel we should have done? Yes, I, I, absolutely. I redo my closings a hundred times afterwards, whether I win or lose. Um, that's that's part of being a good lawyer, a good trial lawyer. Is right. I think that there were a lot of influences here that were beyond our control. And I think the social media, it, it was like a Roman Colosseum. 
is, is the best way to describe the atmosphere here. And I have to believe that the jury, even though they're told not to go and look at anything, we ha you know, they have weekends, they have families, they have Yeah, they were not media. sequestered. They were not sequestered. And, and the 10-day you know, period we had, how could they not have been influenced? But Elaine, for most people watching this trial, and a lot of people, as you know, have got huge views, it just seemed to be, a, it seemed to be so messy on both sides, on both sides. Uh, and you think absolutely. Amber Heard is, in fact, a survivor of domestic violence? Yes, I, I absolutely believe that. And there's a tremendous amount of evidence, much of which did not come into this trial, did come into the UK trial. Elaine, how is she today? She's what is, what is her next move? She's right. Well, her next move is appeal. She is heartbroken. And one of the first things that she said when she came back from the verdict, when we went into the conference room, was, I am so sorry to all these women. My God, are you still talking? The disappointment I feel today is beyond words. I'm heartbroken that the mountain of evidence still was not enough to stand up to the disproportionate power, influence, and sway of my ex-husband. Okay. I'm even more disappointed with what this verdict means for other women. It is a setback. It sets back the clock to a time when a woman who spoke up and spoke out could be publicly shamed and humiliated. Why is she still talking? <laughs> you <laughs>